Welcome to the St. Michael Weekday Meditations. My name is Ken Brannan, and I will be leading our meditation today. Our theme this Easter is blessing. Once you've been transformed by God's love, you can't help but want to share that love with others. This Easter, let's learn how to bless one another by sharing the grace and love of Christ with our friends and neighbors. Joining Christians everywhere during the Easter season, we proclaim with joy, Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. A reading from 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 1-12. through 12. You yourselves know, brothers and sisters, that our coming to you was not in vain. But though we had already suffered and been shamefully maltreated at Philippi, as you know, we had courage in our God to declare to you the gospel of God in spite of great opposition. For our appeal does not spring from deceit or impure motives or trickery, but just as we have been approved by God to be entrusted with the message of the gospel, even so we speak, not to please mortals, but to please God who tests our hearts. As you know, and as God is our witness, we never came with words of flattery or with a pretext for greed, nor did we seek praise from mortals, whether from you or from others, though we might have made demands as apostles of Christ. But we were gentle among you, like a nurse tenderly caring for her own children. So deeply do we care for you that we are determined to share with you not only the gospel of God, but also our own selves, because you have become very dear to us. You remember our labor and toil, brothers and sisters. We worked night and day so that we might not burden any of you while we proclaim to you the gospel of God. You are witnesses, and God also, how pure, upright, and blameless our conduct was toward you believers. As you know, we dealt with each of you like a father with his children, urging and encouraging you and pleading that you should lead a life worthy of God, who calls you into his own kingdom and glory. Here ends the reading. In today's passage from 1 Thessalonians, Paul makes it clear that his message is not of human origin, but divine origin. He is clear that he must be responsive to God's call, even if it puts him into conflict with the world. Some Christian leaders might take a divine call as a license to treat others poorly. Convinced of the power of the message, they might deliver the word of God roughly, letting people know that they better follow God's ways or else. Many people who are skeptical of church have told me that they don't have an issue with God or scripture per se, but the way that human leaders have wielded God and the Bible in in loving ways. As the old saying goes, people may forget what you say, but they will never forget how you say it. Actions speak louder than words. Paul knows this, so he appeals to the new churches with love and kindness. Just look at the words and phrases he uses to make his point. We were gentle among you, like a nurse tenderly caring for her own children, So deeply do we care for you. We dealt with each of you like a father with his children. Paul is bending over backward to communicate love and respect because he knows the gospel of Christ is of ultimate importance and that people will read the message bearer as much as the message itself. Are we trustworthy message bearers? Do we begin everything we say with love and kindness? Do we show with our lives that we are not only interested in winning an argument, but sharing a gift of infinite worth? God has called us. God has impressed upon us the truth of the gospel, and it is really important that we share that good news with others. That's why one of our baptismal vows is to proclaim by word and example the good news of God in Christ. Notice that we promise to proclaim the good news by word and example. Actions don't lie. If you're convinced of the truth of Jesus Christ and the liberating power of the way of love, great. But before you say something about it, examine your life and your conduct. Check and see if what you are doing aligns with what you are saying. If it doesn't, that doesn't mean you're a bad Christian. It just means you have work to do connecting your head and your heart, because one without the other is not as effective as both working together in concert. As Paul says, So deeply do we care for you that we are determined to share with you not only the gospel of God, but also our own selves, because you have become very dear to us. That's what God's love looks like, translating the truth of God into loving action. 
Amen. Please join with me as we continue with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whose Son Jesus is the Good Shepherd of your people, grant that when we hear his voice, we may know him who calls us each by name and follow where he leads, who with you in the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, forever and ever. Amen.